we come together for our sing-along today, this is also the Sunday that we celebrate the Sacrament of Communion at Lawson Memorial. So if you haven't had the opportunity to do that yet, why don't you press pause and run away and get yourself a glass of something. We would normally use red wine, um, non-alcoholic in the church, but grape juice or even water if you haven't got anything else. Remember that we're talking about the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who could turn water into wine. So if you get yourself something to drink and a little bit of bread, you'll get the opportunity to, to take communion as we have our sing-along. If you've already had communion and you're happy just to sing along, then that's good as well. Whatever just join with us now as we praise God, as we sing, He is the Lord and He reigns on high. Isaiah says these words in chapter 55. The Lord says, Come, everyone who is thirsty, here is water. Come, you that have no money, buy grain and eat. Come, buy wine and milk, it will cost you nothing. Why spend money on what does not satisfy? Why spend your wages and still be hungry? Listen to me and do what I say and you will enjoy the best food of all. So let's continue to worship God. Let's sing again. Who took fish and bread? Who took fish and bread? Hungry people fed. Who changed water into wine? Who may see the light? Who comes and will be divine? Only Jesus, only Jesus, only He has done this. Who may the dead to back and spread? Only Jesus did all this. Thank you. 
song and I'm disinterested in you Only Jesus, only Jesus, only He has done this He can change our hearts, give a fresh new step Only He can do this In verse 3, he goes on to say, Listen now, my people, and come to me. Come to me, and you will have life. I will make a lasting covenant with you and give you the blessing I promised to David. So before we come around the Lord's table, where we celebrate that new covenant that the Lord Jesus Christ made, let's sing that lovely song for everyone born, A Place at the Table.
Luke's Gospel tells us these words about the Lord's Supper. When the hour came, Jesus took his place at the table with the apostles. He said to them, I have wanted so much to eat this Passover meal with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will never eat it until it has given its full meaning in the kingdom of God. Then Jesus took a cup, gave thanks to God and said, Take this and share it amongst yourselves. I tell you that from now on I will not drink this wine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took a piece of bread, gave thanks to God, broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body which is given to you. Do this in memory of me. In the same way he gave them the cup after the supper, saying, This cup is God's new covenant, sealed with my blood, which is poured out for you. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for you are our Lord and Creator. There is none like you. You are almighty and all-powerful. We thank you that you love and care so much for humankind that you came in flesh and lived among us. We thank you, Lord, that you love us so much that you offered yourself as a sacrifice, standing in our place, so that we can stand before you with clean hearts and clean hands. And we thank you, Lord, that you rose again and that your love is so strong that you still walk among us by the power of your Holy Spirit. So, Lord, we come to your table to share in a celebration of your love, grateful to be counted as your sons and daughters and ready and willing to tell of how you died and rose again so that we can live our lives close to you. We ask you to join us today, taking your rightful place at the head of our table and the head of our church. Father, please send your Holy Spirit to move in power among these elements and among our people, wherever they may be, that we may know the presence of the Most High God. Lord, we ask you to accept our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, and as we come and offer ourselves, help us to put aside all differences and our trials and tribulations, that as we focus on you, everything else fades away. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. So take, eat, for this is the body of Christ which is broken for you, and this is the cup of the new covenant, sealed by Christ's blood. Drink from it, all of you. Do this. Remembering Jesus. And may the peace of Christ above all peace be with you all, now and evermore. Amen. So let us close by praising God as we sing, Praise my soul, the King of Heaven.
So now may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you evermore. Amen.